Alrighty. Two minutes until it's time. We are actually going to be catching today. Looks like we got people coming in now. That's good. What's up? I'm Chief Keith. Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Mr. Chippy Chap? Good to see you as well. I'm trying to pack up my house and move to my new house. Oh, word? Well, hey, hopefully that goes well for you, dude. Yeah, hopefully that goes really well for you. I know moving's not fun, but it's kind of fun. I mean, in the end of the day, you might be moving on to something exciting. Oh my goodness, what is this? This is an ad. Skip ads. There we go. Now I can see everybody. What's going on? I'm doing good. Ace, congrats on uh, moving house, though. Hopefully that'll be a good time. What's going on? I am Chief. Good to see you. What's up, Mr. Hypno? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. What's up, the Jack, uh, Jack's Films? What's up, Alonzo, One Sack, Big Wiz, uh, Brie, Brie Marie Mac? Good to see you. How you doing? How you doing? What's up, Brendan M? Mr. M? Wait, no. Oh, did you get an ad or something? Oh, you said JY. It's okay. There's a few people that have said JY. It's all good. How you doing, Mr. Hypno? What's up, Cameron? What's up, Logan Campbell? Good to see you. What's up, uh, Celeste Tellies? How you doing? Hey, uh, JT. Huge fan. Good luck on the spotlight ever. Thanks so much, Ziggity. Appreciate you. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna be catching a lot. It's two times catch Stardust right now, so it's definitely worth doing. Yeah, I know. Y is exactly, yeah, exactly. Y is right next to T. It happens all the time. I also have a bad problem of typing the word U, Y, P, O, like all the time and it never autocorrects. It really sucks. Hey, what's up? How many shinies have you gotten during this event? Ah, uh, let me show you real quick since it's about to switch over. I've managed to get myself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 uh, shinies in total, it looks like. So pretty good times. Just finished your latest video. Perfect timing. Oh, hell yeah, Brennan. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching that one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. What's up, Laura? How you doing? Caught a 98 Shadow Rhyperior. Of course you did, Rhyperior Ranger. Almost there, man. Almost there. But yeah, man, we're going to be catching as many of these as possible just because they're going to be giving us a lot of uh, good Stardust. So definitely want to do as many of these as we can. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter stream in terms of our distance, but we're definitely going to be going until the end. And who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a shiny along the way. I love how I put Do Not Disturb on, and yet somehow it always gets uh, notifications through. It's fantastic. What's up, Zachariah? How you doing? I don't know if I'm your dad, but hi, how you doing? I'm betting my first, uh, and hopefully one of my shinies will be Caterpie. I hope it'll be shit Caterpie for you if you need it. Yeah, if you guys really need any of these, I hope you get what you're looking for. Because obviously, it's fun to go for the thing you want, but it is a little harder now because it's not just one Pokemon. It's literally three Pokemon. Yep, 4,019 shiny. I play a little too much. Just a tad too much. And since it's double dust, this is an, evol an evolved form. This is actually worth doing. Yeah, Zachariah, please don't spam. If you spam, we're going to have to time you out. I got a shiny female combi. Noise. Congratulations. That's a huge win. I haven't gotten a single shiny female combi during this event, sadly, but I've had some decent luck here and there. Oh, my God. I don't know who James from Idaho is. I don't understand why Do Not Disturb is not uh, blocking those out, but fantastic. Don't uh, contact those numbers. They're going to put you on a list. And then you'll keep getting spam calls and stuff. Ugh. All right. Let's get moving, shall we? Is Mega Heracross the Mega for the rest of the month? Uh, yes, it will be. Well, not for the rest of the month. I think it's just for the rest of this event, I want to say. But yeah. I'm a Shundo, right? Also, my Caterpie is so good. I love it. You're a Shundo? Of course you're a Shundo. You're a Shundo in my eyes, that's for sure. You got Furret? Hell yeah, congrats. Going to Orlando next month for Disney, and me and my dad, who religiously play Poco, say we're gonna fight you at the Denny's parking lot. I'm down. Bring it. I hope you know that I have the home field advantage on that one. Denny's parking lots? Man, I've been going to those for years. Also, not yellow. All right. We're going to catch them still because we want that dust. Bam. What's up? What's up, Chris the Noob? How you doing? It's nice to see you live because I'm in the hospital waiting for my daughter to be born and I don't have nothing to keep me entertained. Oh, my God. Well, hey, congrats on your daughter. That's awesome. I mean, obviously, she hasn't come out yet, but... That's amazing. Everybody, let's get some hype for them. Let's get a hype for uh, Renee. That's freaking awesome. Man, and I thought I thought my day was going well, but man, you have a way more exciting day. This is going to be a huge day for you. 
how to dono. Uh, I think the best way to dono is there should be like a little dollar icon, and that's how you dono. It was not shiny or anything, but my fur is my favorite Pokemon. That's still cool, though. I haven't seen a fur in a while. Plus, it is a good meme Pokemon, and I'm going way too fast. I need to be clicking and catching on all of these. But yeah, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody's day going? Clearly, only one of you really are probably waiting for a baby, but other than that, how's everybody doing? Surprise, it's a shiny. Yeah, right. The doctor comes out, sir, it's shiny. And she comes out like blue or red or something like that. That'd be awesome. My money's on JT. He'll sneak, uh, sneak you with a left hook. That's fair. The old... No, it's Denny's. I gotta give him the old Grand Slam, you know what I'm saying? Hello, what's up, uh, Reaver Ajan? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you here. How about this one? Nope. Okay. I also got a shiny female combi, a Cricketot, and Kata today, and my sister got a shiny combi too. Very cool. Fan of Bank, that's awesome. Congratulations to you, sister, and you. That's amazing. That's actually really awesome. I'm glad people are getting those. I haven't been lucky enough to get a shiny female combi, but I've been lucky enough to get pretty much everything else. Like, I got a uh, cutie fly today. Was very happy about that because I needed one more to complete the set. Technically, like, finishing it on my own. Do, do, do. Not the Grand Slam! Oh, I bet you. It's the Grand Slam. You better watch out. Also, this is a Weedle. Come on, Weedle, what you doing, homie? I honestly don't care what I get today in terms of, like, shinies or something. It's more about the dust. I'd like to see this number go up by a bit, and it's already going up by a little bit, so that's good. We're not missing anything else. If JT gets tired from the battle, he can tag in Ivan. Yeah, it's true. Ivan's like a shield for me. He absorbs the damage. The Grand Slam with extra pancakes? you damn right. Hi, I love from India, bro. My name is Ravi. What's up, Ravi? How you doing? Good to see you, man. I'd love to go to India someday. I think India would be a great country to visit. Hopefully you'll get it. Yo, how are you? Uh, Michael, I'm doing well, man. Just chilling. Just trying to catch myself some stuff for dust. Trying to get some shinies. I'd like to know your guys' honest opinions of the uh, upcoming, what's it, sustainability week? I think it's kind of lackluster personally, but I'd like to know what you guys think. Or Goku. You know, honestly, Goku would be a good fighter. Goku would be a great fighter, not gonna lie. He'd be a perfect fighter. So, ah, that's what I'd say. So. Yeah, no, Trubbish Spotlight Hour is gonna be great. Yes, I will give you that. Trubbish Spotlight Hour is going to be amazing. The problem is that, like, there's no wild spawns other than that. And I will say, I'm hopeful, I am hopeful that the, uh, that the Kanto stuff has a couple surprises here and there, you know what I mean? I have a feeling like it's just them spawning everywhere, which would be sad, but at the same time, you know, you never know. Maybe they'll like kick up rare spawns. More Charizards and Venusaurs and Blastoises in the wild. Graphics combo with a dash of fist? Hell yeah. It's a mad event? Yeah, that's what I'm. Better. What are your raid predictions next month? Well, okay, so I was gonna say Buzzwool, Zerkatree, and Formosa. But it looks like they're going to be showing up for GoFest. But they might not just be showing up for GoFest. They could possibly be showing up beforehand. So I'm going to throw those out there anyways, just in case. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini definitely feels like a given at this point, seeing that we've had the other three Tapus. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking, at least. Have you seen a wild hair cross during this event? Yeah, I've seen a couple here and there. Haven't been lucky enough to be shiny, but I have seen a few hair crosses here and there. They're still out and about. They're definitely not like super boosted either, but it is what it is. It was still cool. Yeah, probably Reggie Rock since we had Reggie Ice and Reggie Steel's coming up real soon. So Reggie Rock, Tapu Fini, and I mean, like an Ultra Beast seems to be part of the deal. So I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like we could probably get a uh, I don't know. Maybe they'll do that regional thing again where, like, everywhere, like, where I'm from we will get uh, Buzzwool, where Asia Pacific will get Zergatry, and, uh, what's it called? Asia, Asia Pacific will get Zergatry, and, um, God, what am I trying to say here? Uh, Europe and Africa will get Fermosa. I can see that being a thing. 
Oh, well, slap back, so that's nice. I'm excited for Marsh Saddle research. Yeah, no, me too. I'm very excited for Marsh Saddle. That's going to be a fun one. Hope for the Ultra Unlocks after the Go Fest, we get our shiny Galarian birds. Man, me too. That would be awesome. God, I hope so. Like, I just, I don't know, man. Like, the last couple of days have been a little bit rough in terms of just coming up with content ideas. Like, I really want, like, a big drop to happen. And I know that Go Fest is good for that, but you know what I mean? Like, all these events as of late have been kind of lackluster. But maybe I'm wrong. So, yeah, give me your guys' opinions on the matter. Boom. Nope. How about this one? No. Shiny, but we can still get that dust. I'm hoping they put Blessed Cephalon in the five rates. Yeah, no, I know that they will. Blessed Cephalon and Stack Attack, and if they're going to be showing up at Go Fest, they're probably going to be shiny uh, uh, eligible. Like, I highly doubt we're going to get a non-shiny eligible raid Pokemon. I'm actually curious if we're going to be able to get shiny uh, Cosmog, or at least Solgaleo and uh, Lunala. I'd like to know what they're going to do with that. Are you getting the Marsetto research? I am getting the Marsetto research, and I'm very excited about it. Should be a really good time. Hopefully mine's good. That's the only thing I have to <laughs> say. I'm really hopeful it's good. Also, we got our first shiny. Hell yeah. There we go. Shiny Weedle on the stream. It's kind of funny that we got a Weedle. I expected it to be a Caterpie, personally. Oh my. You broke out. Well, you know what? Fine. Ultra Ball. Whew. Well, that's fun. I'm down with that. Everybody likes a good shiny Weedle, right? The spotlight hour drew is all three of these Pokemon. Caterpie, Wurmple, and Weedle. Now let's see how good this Weedle is. Not good at all, but that's fine. If you want to be named after this shiny Weedle, hmm. If you want to be named after this shiny Weedle, you got to tell me what color is shiny Kakuna. First come, first serve. I'm getting it too. Marshadow is one of my favorite Pokemon. Hell yeah, Chris. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. That's going to be a fun one. It is green. Congratulations, Mick Colton. You are now officially a Weedle. Mick Colton. You've already won before, that's why you're an auto entry. That's funny. All right, let's get some GGs from McColton. Please do not argue with me as to who won. Thurman must be happy. Oh, I'm sure she is, because she'll probably steal that from me, but that's fine. How about this? Nope. Just caught my first shiny female combi. Very cool, Kame. That's awesome. Huge congratulations. Boom. How about this one? No. Stay hydrated, it boosts shiny odds. It's true. Get some good Agua in your system, and it usually boosts that shiny rate by a little bit. And hopefully we're going to be getting our hands on some nice, good dust. I think we're doing pretty good right now, though. Let me see where we're at, according to this. Oh, yeah, we've been making good progress. We're just going to have to keep catching for a little bit. I got my uh, 1,000 shiny. Oh, very cool, Tactical Gengar. That's awesome. What was it? What was number 1,000? Why do you uh, throw the ball and leave? It's called fast catching. It's how you catch them faster. So as you can see, the ball made contact, and now they're gone. Technically, I caught them. You just uh, It's just a faster way to catch. That's why I'm doing it like that, so we don't have to watch the ball rock the entire way. And if it doesn't catch, then I can just click on the Pokemon again, and then throw the ball again and try. But that's why I'm doing that. It's called fast catching. It makes the process so much easier. And we're trying to get as much dust as possible, so I don't want to spend all my time watching a catch screen, you know what I mean? Boom. And you. No. hey -ya. This one. No. At the weekend, I got a Shadow Shadow Shundo Entei. Oh my god, congrats on a Shadow Shundo Entei. That's freaking awesome. Huge congrats. That's actually a huge achievement. Huge congrats on that one. I would love a Shundo Shadow. I've never been lucky enough, unfortunately. I've been going hard, too. Well, howdy there, G-Pop. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Hello, Kurumidits. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, hope to meet you in New York Go Fest. Yeah, no, if you see me, come up and say hi, please. Please come up and say hi. I'd really appreciate it. Shazam. Really? Get in the ball, you silly little worm. There we go. As you can see, this is a pretty good cluster spot over here, so I'm going to try to catch while I read you guys' stuff. Good evening, ABR. How are you, sir? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully life is treating you good. 
So far, we're just trying to catch ourselves more shinies, but we did get a shiny Weedle earlier, which is awesome. What Ultra Beast are you most excited for? Honestly, I mean, probably Necrozma, just because of the idea of the fusion mechanics and stuff in the game, so we can get fusion forms. I think that'll be awesome. But yeah, no, I think that's probably my big one, is Ultra Necrozma for sure, or just Necrozma. But other than that, Zerkatry, I really love shiny Zerkatry. has that nice blue wire color, like, it really fits its design. Um, shiny Buzzwell is also not bad. It gets like that really lime green color. It looks great. Just got a 100% Shadow Dragonite. Dude, nice. Congrats. I would love that. That's, uh, I want to say not including Megas. The number three dragon or maybe number two dragon. I don't remember Shadow Garchomp takes over for it, but I know Shadow Salamance does beat it in terms of damage, but it is more tanky, so it can do a lot more damage because of that. So, you know, trade-offs here and there. What's my favorite Pokemon? I love me a good Sharpedo. That's who my favorite is. I love me a good Sharpedo. I don't know why. I just love sharks, you know? It's one of the few sharks that are out there. Though admittedly, there's also Garchomp, but Garchomp's also a dragon, so... Yeah, I like me a good Sharpedo. I got all the bugs shiny. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, I'm happy to say, so far, I've gotten almost every single shiny that this event has to offer. I've got the Shuckle, I got the Cricket Tot today, I got a Cutie Fly. I got, of course, the hair cross. so, yeah. Even, like, technically Scyther, even though he's not part of this event officially. I did get that shiny, so that's kind of fun. What are you playing? I'm playing Pokemon Go. You should check it out in the uh, App Store and download it. And also, they've got big changes coming up really soon. We're going to be getting new avatars. We're going to be getting new backgrounds, so it's not the same old background it's been for the last seven-plus years. So that'll be fun. Love me the sound of that. Uh, Fert, uh, Fert Smeargle, Caterpie line are the best. I mean, you know, they're all right. They're all right. What's up, Delicious Duck? How's it going? Is this MySpace? Yes, it is. Actually, no, sorry. This is actually Facebook. MySpace is over there, I'm afraid. But how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Imagine if we get Galarian birds in raids and they're shiny during GoFest. I mean, that would be awesome, but I highly doubt they're going to do that. I would love to get shiny Galarian birds, though. That'd be a fun Ultra Unlock. It'd be also kind of fun if, like, during each of the Ultra Unlocks, you had boosted chances with, like, one of the birds. Like, hey, shiny Galarian Zapdos has a higher chance from coming off of the Daily Incense. And also, it can be shiny, so good luck, you know what I mean? Like, that would be pretty fun. I would definitely go hard for that. Hello, Claude. How you doing? You thought this was RuneScape. I mean, that's fair, Rhyperior Ranger. That's fair. But that's more of an Ivan thing than me. <laughs> Just subbed. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Chillware. Or Chillwire. Let's see here. Yo, what's up, silly? How you doing? Good to see you. According to Google, first it's Mamoswine, then Salamance, then Dragonite. Mamoswine? Mamoswine isn't a good, uh, isn't a dragon type. Mamoswine's great against dragons, though. Shadow Mamoswine's disgusting against dragon raids. I freaking love using it. How about this? Nope. Okay, we caught that one already. Are the shiny odds increased right now? No, they are not. They are full odds, unfortunately. So good luck to you. Hopefully you get what you're looking for. But yeah, they're not, they're not increased by any means. We did get a Weedle, though, like literally a couple minutes ago, so... That was nice. What's up, Bug Snacks, uh, Snackiest? How you doing? Just caught a shiny wheel. As you said, there are full odds. Hey, congrats, though. That's awesome. Not everybody has those. I mean, it did have a community day like forever ago. But yeah, huge congrats. That is pretty fun. I got that one, too. That was my first shiny of this stream. So hopefully we'll get more and more shinies. And fingers crossed, there'll be uh, good IVs. I already have a Shundo Butterfree, though, so I don't really want a good one of that. But I'll gladly take a, a good Weedle or a good Wurmple. I don't care which. I'm happy with either. Have you ever hit Legends in PvP? God, no. I got close once. I got really close. But the downside was uh, somebody... Um, it was when the Megas were allowed in PvP. And I was doing really good. Like, I was getting good matchups and everything. And then I ran into somebody who cheated the game and was able to get three Megas at the same time. And the way they did it was having their game logged in 
to three different accounts at the same time and megaing a different Pokemon at the same exact time. It, it sucked. So I got so close just to run into that person like three times and they just kept knocking me down. So I got frustrated and stopped. What is the most rare Pokemon at the moment? Like in general, I'd say Larvesta is pretty up there. Larvesta you can only get by hatching eggs and sometimes you don't you like never see them for the longest time So I'd say Larvesta is probably one of the rarest and then followed up by probably Hmm, what's another one? I mean Fridgebacks is pretty darn rare at this moment You could definitely do it with coaching I probably could and I'll have to try in the future I wouldn't mind though on the upside all I really want is the shiny Pikachu Libre which I might have somebody willing to give me one, so that's exciting in the future. Oh man, when Shiny Larvesta comes out, I mean, that's probably gonna be Unovator, which is gonna be next year, so I could see Unovator giving us some pretty cool stuff. At least, fingers crossed, they do. Hello from Kentucky. Hello, how's it going? What's up, Jose? Shout out to my girlfriend who caught a Hundo Gibble. Uh, it's Wolfie Chick 20. Hey, Wolfie Chick 20, huge congratulations on catching that Hundo Gibble. That's freaking awesome. Love me a good Gibble. Let's see here. Battle Tapu Bulu. Nah, I'm good. Well, I don't really want to do that right now. I'd rather get as much dust as I physically can. At least fingers crossed we can. Well, what we could expect for the next year's Go Tour Unova. Exactly. Like, for the, the next year, probably Shiny Larvesta. Obviously, the Shiny Regionals of Bufalant, uh, Maractus, and Sigilith. Those will be big hunts as well. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. They're really powering through. Like, most of Gen 5 Shinies are out right now. And I have almost every single one of them minus Sand Isles. So, I can show you guys in just a second if you'd like. But, yeah, it's uh, not exactly... Uh, we don't have a lot left. You know what? I'll, I'll take a look real quick while I have the moment. There you go. And then Unova. So, as you can see, we have almost everything. The first thing is Victini. But, yeah, you keep digging through... And there's really not a lot left. Like, there's a pretty decent chunk here and there. But I want to say that Sand Isle's, like, right there. And then, yeah, we also got some other stuff. But Gen 6 is also pretty much done, too. Gen 7, we're starting to really dig into. And then, obviously, Gen 8 isn't out yet. And Gen 9 has plenty of shinies to release. So, you know, we're getting there, at least. Guys, please do not spam. I appreciate it. If you want to say hi, please say hi, but don't spam the hi. I promise you, I see most of the highs. <laughs> Can't wait for the Maractus. It spawns here year-round, and I have like 450 calories all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. No, we get Maractus where I am, too. I'm definitely excited for that one. And honestly, out of all of them, it's probably one of the best shinies for sure. It is a beautiful shiny. Very happy with it. Love your vids. Thank you so much, uh, Recon Master. Appreciate you. I'm glad you enoyed them so much. I hope you're looking forward to the GoFest times, because we have some crazy videos during that time. And including a really crazy one I'm going to be doing in August after Worlds. I'm really excited for it. I hope it does well. But yeah, we'll see how it performs. What are you playing? I am playing Pokemans Go. What's up, Giovanni? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I was wondering what was a good slash full Pokedex number. I have 755 right now. Yeah, my Pokedex number is 845, but there are a few Pokedexes that I could do that I'm purposely not doing. Like, I have uh, enough Vol uh, Larvesta candy to give me a Volcarona, but I don't want a Volcarona yet because that's the last thing I need for the Platinum uh, Gen 5 Metal. And I'm waiting until the Shiny comes out because I would love to have a Shiny Volcarona as a Dex entry and as my Platinum Metal for Unova. So there's little things like that, plus I've never evolved the Jang mo -Oh because I know that the Shiny's coming out somewhat soon now, and I'd rather get the Shiny Dex entries just for fun. I think it'd be fun at least. When does level 60 come out? I don't know, but I would like them to add something like that. Like, I... Give me your guys' honest opinions, but what do you think about this whole Rediscover Go? I think it's fun that they're doing it, but I don't think it's enough to really carry anything, personally. That's just my opinion, though. Feel free to let me know what you think. And also, guys, if you haven't already, please consider smashing the, uh, the uh, like button on the stream. I would really appreciate it. Very much helps out the streams. Helps us a lot. Also, it appears, for some reason, the GPS is screwing up, of course. Let's turn on the location. There we go. And we should snap back. There we go. Don't know why it does that. I want to assume it's just my phone screwing up because I don't really see a lot of other people having this issue. 
but it sucks. Like, I make any sudden movement, and the phone just goes, I don't know where you are. What do you think of the up-and-coming event? Eh, I think it has potential. I'm obviously going to play it. I'm going to use, uh, I'll probably hatch a ton of eggs just to make a video. Like, hey, this is what this event looks like. You know, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Basically is how I'm going to have to phrase it. But, yeah, I don't know. I feel like our past, our last uh, sustainability event was fantastic. We got a brand new shiny, a brand new Pokemon, you know what I mean? Like, it was great. We haven't had a new Pokemon in a while. Minus things like Charcadet and stuff, but like, I don't know, I, I heard rumors that Wiglet would show up for this one, and I was like, oh dude, yeah, Wiglet would be awesome, but doesn't look like Wiglet's coming yet. At what point you use a GPS emulator? I never have. That's the problem. That's called spoofing, and I don't do that, but for some reason, this phone just decides that it doesn't like using its uh, GPS too well. Kind of lame. What do you think about Calm Day, uh, Bellsprout Calm Day? I think it's fun. Everybody likes a good Bellsprout. I mean, honestly, they've been going through a lot of Kanto Pokemon. If you go back to the past, you'll realize that a lot of their stuff has been, uh, what's it called? Uh, a lot of Calm Days have been Kanto Pokemon. Poliwag, we've had Ghastly, Machop now, Abra, and now this one. Like, for, honestly, there's only a handful more of the three-stage evolutions they could do. Any shinies? Yes, Wolf Howler. We did get ourselves a shiny Weedle. Happy to say. We did get a Weedle relatively quickly into the stream, which was fun. So now, we're mostly just trying to catch... We'll try to get ourselves some more shinies, but I'm mostly just trying to get myself a lot of dust. That's the big thing. Let's see where we're at. We're already doing really good, though. As you can see, that number has gone up quite a bit. So, I know I'm not going to hit 2 million by any means. That would be a ridiculous goal to set during the time, but who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky and get a good amount here and there. What are the spawns for the next event? Uh, Kanto spawns. They're, it looks like they're doing a combination thing of like, here's brand new Kanto Pokemon spawns that I think are going to be more accurate to where they're supposed to be located. If I've read that correctly, like you have to go to a water biome, biome to find, you know, Squirtles and stuff like that. You have to be in a mountainous biome to find Charizard and Charmander and all that. And then obviously foresty biomes is where you'll find those other things. That's at least what I'm getting from it, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It just feels like they're trying to make it more themed, like these Pokemon are found where these biomes are. Who knows, though? I'll give you my shiny Rotom for a shiny Togepi. I mean, I might actually take you up on that. I have plenty of shiny Togepis, and I don't have a single shiny Rotom. I would gladly take a Rotom, because I would love it for the decks. What's up, uh, man? How you doing? I just got a question. How many hours do you usually play a regular day? Just curious. Ah, oh, usually eight to nine hours a day, depending. Admittedly, today I've been taking it a little bit easier for myself, you know, and just kind of relaxing a bit. But, yeah, usual grind is a pretty long day of about eight plus hours. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to stream later Master League, Solgaleo, Zygarde, and Kartana. Oh, word? Well, hey, good luck. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you have some good wins with it. I usually have decent luck with Kartana, unless there's a fire type. Kartana just gets eaten alive by fire types. So if anybody has a Reshiram, basically, that Kartana is not surviving the night. Love of consistency? Thank you. Yeah, no, I mean, I love this game a lot. Even with the decisions that I don't overly agree with, I still love the game. It's done a lot for me, both physically and mentally. Like, it's been a really big part of my life for a while now. So, you know, I'm always going to have a spot, soft spot for the game. And I love playing it. Like, I find it kind of therapeutic almost. I get to walk around, play the game, just enjoy my time. And, uh, yeah, occasionally I get to hang out with buddies while I do it, which is always fun. Ho-Oh -oh is worse. Is that so? What do you mean by that? What do you think the next Community Day is going to be after Bellsprout? I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, Poplio. Sounds like a Poplio Community Day seeing that we've had every other one being the starter because we had Rowlet and then we had something else I forget what it was and then we had Litten and now we're having Bellsprout so it just feels like Poplio's coming up and then after Poplio I'm going to make the prediction now and I'm sure I'm going to be 100% right we're going to have Gumi I bet you anything we're going to have Gumi at least that's what I feel we're going to get I'm sure we are because usually that's the time that we get those kind of calm days you know so, I'm definitely feeling a Gumi Calm Day coming up. 
And then next year we'll have Jang Mo O Calm Day. Do you see a lot of nature in your travels while playing? Not really. I mean, like, if you count squirrels and swans, yes. But in terms of, like, actual, like, nature nature, not really. I live in an area where that's not very common. Like, we, we did have a bear here a little bit ago. But that was, like, a while ago now. And that was, like, a very uncommon thing. That bear snuck in and basically got scared up a tree and wouldn't leave the tree. But when is Rhyhorn Community Day Classic? Probably in 2045. If I had to make a guess, 2045 will be the next one. You think we'll be getting Gen H starter shinies uh, for Calm Day this year? Oh, God, no. Yeah, we haven't even gotten them, period. There ain't no way we're getting their uh, shinies this year. I honestly am curious when we're going to get Gen 8. It's like they've introduced a little bit of Gen 9, which is kind of fun, but they really haven't introduced anything else. So, like, I don't know. Like, it's been a while since we've had a Gen 9 release outside of there being an evolution for you know what I mean? I think the last one was uh, Char Cadet, I want to say. Yeah, Char Cadet was the last one, which was a little bit ago. So, I don't know. Oh, my God. Get in the ball. There we go. You are the best Pokemon user. But, well, thank you, Rich Dog. That's very kind of you to say. I don't know if I'm the best, but I appreciate you. I'm glad you like the content. Gumi is my favorite mod. It's a really good one. Maybe another Ultra Unlock. I mean, that would be kind of fun. Ultra Unlock, congrats, here's Gen 8. I would gladly take a Gen 8 Ultra Unlock. I think that'd be pretty cool. I came back to Pokemon Go six months ago, and I'm about to hit level 40. Very cool. Very cool. You got Mega Rayquaza? Yes, I do. It's a beautiful one, too. Whew. Let's just keep catching real fast, and we'll see what we can pull out. You are the best. Oh, thanks, Carrie. Appreciate it. Very kind of you to say. Let's just keep going, though. Maybe there's something else nice and sparkly in here. Where are you from? I'm from everywhere. I don't really technically have, like, a home home base, but I've been here for a while. Shiny is next. Okay, after this Weedle? Got you. Boom. Hey, it's going to be a golden Caterpie right here. No. Okay. Well, we tried, though. Yo, what's good? I'm Senmei. What's up, Senmei? How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm from India, and there is, and here's night. Oh, of course it's night time for you. What is it like? You guys are like 12 plus hours in the future for me. Yeah, no, the sun's only just about to set for me, so you guys will be getting that in a little bit. Second favorite being Wormpool, which I got earlier today. Oh, very cool. For you, it's 7.30, so you're like one hour ahead of me. Oh, yeah, you must be like, what, like Bermuda? Canada area? I don't exactly know which time zone you are. Yes, guys, please smash that like button. We're at 41 likes. Every 100 likes, we get a shiny naming. So if you want to be named after one of the shinies, please feel free to smash that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. Let's try to catch as many more of these as we can. Oh my goodness, look at that Caterpie. Bam. Whew. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is definitely Sharpedo. I love me a good Sharpedo. He is a good shark. Vicious little man. Oh, hey, you could be shiny. You're not, though. Shazam. JT, how do you do the catch and run trick? I can teach you if you would like. So, we'll do it with this uh, Weedle here. What you do is you put your finger on the berry icon, as you can see that it's illuminating on the bottom there, but you do not let go of it. Then with your other hand, you get the ball, you throw the ball. Once it makes contact, you let go, click on the screen, and then you either hit the back button or this run button, and that's how you leave the encounter. That is called fast catching. So again, berry on, let go, click on the screen, and then hit the back button or the run button. Love the videos. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Karn. Appreciate it. I got a Hundo Caterpie during Spotlight Hour. Very cool. That's awesome. Maybe if we get Gigantamax at any point, that'll be good for you. Boom. Any shinies? Yes, we did get a Weedle a little bit ago. Happy to say. We have been lucky enough to get been graced by the Weedle. And basically from there... Nothing yet, but we've been mostly just catching a whole bunch of stuff for dust. I think once I get rid of all my pokey and great balls, that's when I'm going to uh, stop catching. Because I'm not wasting ultra balls on these things unless they're shiny. So we'll switch into shiny checking mode after that. Catch the combi? Why do you care about the combi? Uh-oh. Well, we can't. We are full. Uh-oh. 
Give me one second to delete some stuff and we can go back there. I know that the combi does have increased dust, so that's probably why I should catch it. But you'll have to give me a moment. Also, four star. Was there anything? No, there was not. Okay. X back. Uh oh, man. Okay. We got to do that over again. Okay. There were no hundos. I don't really care about PvP right now, so we're just going to go through here and transfer every little thing. You got two shiny, uh, shiny female combis. Very cool, very cool. I've yet to have any luck with that, unfortunately, Carrie. I've been trying to, though. I've been clicking on every single one of them I've seen, but I've been just brutally unlucky with it. Thank God for my heart just dropped. <laughs> how you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, Acer Gallon, how are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. My God, how many of them were there? We were going off for a while, weren't we? All right, you know what? That's good enough for now. We'll just get rid of that for now. I'll start deleting more later on, but we need to get back to catching. Oh, I know. Trust me, we've caught way too many. It's getting to a point now where I need to start deleting stuff, and I need to delete some shinies, to be fully honest with you. I don't need every single shiny that I have, so I need to get in there and start just purging. But we'll see. And this one, new. Boom. This hurts to watch you, Chris. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry to uh, kill all these bugs in front of you. But if it makes you feel any better, they're all going to a happy place in the sky. A nice little farm where they all play together. I'm going to try to add a Pokestop next to my house. Hey, good luck. Hopefully it works for you. People are pretty, pretty strict about that, but hopefully you'll get lucky. Yes, I've transferred hundos before. Sometimes I've gotten multiple hundos that I don't need. So I have deleted them in the past. Boom, cool. How about this one? No. Oh my god. Hit it, JT. There we go. Whew, man. I don't know about you, but I'm just like, I don't know what it is. I'm a little wiped today. Didn't really do much, but I feel like I've just been pushing so hard the last couple days. I need to take a rest day. Maybe tomorrow for a little bit until like raid hour. That's probably what I'm going to do, is just relax for a bit. I'm doing good, Bridget. How you doing? All the way from New Zealand. How you doing, Bridget? Good to see you. Thank you for the raids, by the way. Always love me some early raids. How recent have you seen Mystic 7? Ah, uh, boy, I don't remember the last time I saw him. Um, I didn't really, like, talk to him at all, but I saw him during the uh, Sinnoh tour. Other than that, last time I talked to him, talked to him, was, like, Japan. Last year. Yeah. I got a shiny Tapu Bula today. Very cool. Hi from El Indonesia. Hello. Whereabouts, Fami? I recently went to Bali for your guys' Pikachu event. Unfortunately, it, lo it looks like I won't be able to go to the Surabaya event. I kind of wanted to, though. It looks like a really fun event, but I just don't think I'm going to be able to fit it into the schedule, sadly. Also, you... No. No problem. I'm doing a pretty good work at a uh, work from home so I can sneak in. Oh, hell yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks for sneaking in and hanging out. Oh, man. I want to go to New Zealand someday. I bet New Zealand's like a really beautiful place to visit. I would personally love to go. Me and my Chihuahua haven't gotten a shingle shiny this spotlight hour yet. Well, you know what? Don't worry. Your, your Chihuahua's going to get one real soon. I already know. Your Chihuahua's going to get a Shundo as well. Because I used to own a Chihuahua. And they're very, very sneaky with their shinies. I got a shiny Combi and Weedle at the house. Very cool, very cool. Huge congratulations. Yeah, I'm hoping I get lucky to get a female shiny Combi. I don't know why, but it would be. I think it'd be pretty fun. I already got one a long time ago, but it's the only one I've ever gotten, and it's from uh, the uh, Seattle, Seattle Go Fest. So that was fun. Go Fest Madrid, I'll be there. I'll be at every single one of the Go Fest, so if you want to see me, you come by and you say hi. It's going to be a good time. Can you get named after a Pokemon? Uh, once we catch a shiny, I got you. Or once we hit 100 likes on the stream, which we're currently at 59. So if you guys don't mind, please make sure to smash that like button and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you in New York City. Hell yeah, dude. 
Hey Ace, question for you. Are you Ace Charizard by chance? Accidentally transferred a shiny Whalmer during the event. Ah, gotcha. Let's see here. Over 3,000 checks and no purple wormple. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm so Let's see here. Nor Norwich in the UK and me and my girlfriend are going, uh, so I'll see you there hopefully. Yeah, no. If you see me, come up and say hi, please. I live in Ohio, and uh, but I might be I might get to live in Florida or California when me and my sibling graduate. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, I mean, I like Florida. It's warm most of the time. We never get snow hardly ever, like almost ever, really. It only happens up like really north Florida. I never get it where I am, which is fantastic. I love the climate around here. Heck yeah, it would be dope if you ever made it to New Zealand. I would love to go to New Zealand. I truly would. It sounds like a beautiful place. I've never even been to Australia, you know what I mean? Like, I want to go to Australia really badly. Like, that's been on the bucket list for just the longest time. I honestly just want to go anywhere, you know what I mean? I want to go anywhere to see some cool sights. Hi, I'm Nee. Well, hello, Nee. How are you? Hey, Chester Lauder. Thanks so much for the dollar. Appreciate you. Everybody, let's get some likes and hype for that dollar. Appreciate the donation. Every donation goes a long way, so thank you all very much. Well, I found a shiny Wurmple, and I can't get my shiny Beautifly, but evolved into Cascoon. Ah, boo. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. That happened to me, actually. What was it? Um, I managed to get five shiny Wurmples for a video. So I was like, all right, let's do this. And literally... I got a, what was it, a uh, Silcoon, and then I got a Cascoon, and then I hatched another one and got a Cascoon, and I was like, all right, well, this one has to be a Silcoon, and then it evolved into another Cascoon, and I was like, ah, oh, the pain, such pain. How's, it how's your day going? Andy, it's going pretty good. Well, I can't uh, complain. It's been pretty good. We've gotten some shinies today, one shiny that I really actually wanted really badly, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, yeah, we've just been catching as much as we can to get as much dust as we can because I need to start spending soon on some other stuff and I don't want to be really down on the red when it comes down to this. But I'd also like it if you stayed in the ball, little friend. Please? Thank you. Appreciate it. How about this one? Not yellow. Do -do -do. Bam. Hey, JT, do you maybe know the shiny odds for Heracross and Mega Raids? Uh, yes, they're about a 1 in 64, it looks like. Mega Raids go from, like, on raid day itself... They were about 1 in 10. They were, like, really boosted. But then once the Mega Raid Day is over, then they go down to about a 1 in 64 odd rate. So it's full odds, but the odds of you getting it are still 1 in 64. And that doesn't mean you'll get it in that 64 either. That just means that you have a chance of getting it within that. So, yeah. Not the greatest. Yo, what games do you play? I play all sorts of games. I like playing a lot of Pokemon games. I play the main series games. I've been playing a little bit of Apex late, uh, lately. I'm trying to get a little bit more into that, even though I am terrible at it, but it's still fun. Um, what other things are there? I have used to play Fortnite a little bit. I enjoyed it. Um, played a lot of Destiny way back in the day. I enjoyed Destiny a lot. Do you think Gumi is cool? Yeah, Gumi's cool. I love that it has a Hisuian evolution. I think Hisuian Sligu and Hisuian Gudra are fun designs. Basically giant snail creatures. It's pretty interesting. How many shinies today? I want to say three. Three shinies today so far. Happy to say. We got the Weedle earlier in the stream, which was kind of cool. But other than that, we've uh, gotten a cutie fly as well. And then we got ourselves, I think it was a Cricketot. So all in all, pretty decent rates. Can't complain. Shiny on the next Pokemon? All right. I trust you. Next Pokemon will be shiny. Or you're banned. <laughs> I feel like you're new. Ah, oh, not shiny though. Oh no. I have a shiny Swablu, very cool. Do you like Overwatch? I never really played it that much, but I do like the designs of them. So, yeah. I can't really say that I love or hate it because I really never played it much, but you know, it looks nice. Well, I'd swing that ban hammer. <laughs> I remember when the shiny cutie fly was just released. I got the shiny uh, first check, which was nuts. Oh, hell yeah, that's insane. Huge congrats. Yeah, now I'm hoping that uh, 
hoping that we get some really cool luck with an upcoming shiny. I mean, I got lucky with Wimpod. I got like sh eight shiny Wimpods. I already traded one to a friend, but yeah, I had eight of them, and now we're down to now we're down to seven. But we had some pretty dumb luck with this thing. Now we just gotta wait so we can cross the road, and then we can check some more shinies. Can uh, Mega Lucario, Me Too X, and Y, Metagross, and Audio? Yeah, no, I'd love to see those guys. I'm really glad that we got Heracross, though. Because I live in Heracross land, so it's fun to finally get the Mega of my regional. You got one? Well, hey, that's better than zero. I know some people that went thousands of encounters with it and didn't get a single one. Which is RNG. It happens, but yeah. Ooh, wow. Really? There we go. How about this one? Boom. And then... No. Okay. Wurmple needs a calm day. Yeah, I mean, a Wurmple community day would be an interesting one. Especially with all the different evolutions and such. I think that would actually not be a bad one for sure. Wurmple, Wurmple calm day would be pretty solid. Mine is Tauros. That's my regional. Word? Word? JT, I say you will get a shiny within the next five minutes. Okay, that's, that's a fair estimate. I'll take a five minutes. But if you're wrong, we ban you for five years. Every minute is a year. I feel like that's fair, right, guys? That seems pretty fair. <laughs> Are you going to New York City Go Fest? Because I'll be there and I hope you have a great time. Yes, Brian, I will be there. I'm excited about it. It should be a fun time. And also, it's the last Go Fest, so I feel I can be a little bit more chill with it. So, yeah, come up and say hi if you see me. I'm always happy to say hi to people. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> How about this one? No, not yellow. Disgusting. Pathetic cat, okay. <sighs> Boom. I wish I could go to GoFest. Hey, someday in the future you can. Yep, just because you can't do it now doesn't mean you'll never be able to. I remember when I wished I could go to Safari Zones, man. Like, I didn't have the money at the time. I was doing terribly in life. And then I worked hard and I got to where I was able to do it. So, never say never. You'll eventually get there. Who knows? Could be next year even. Boom. Shiny Charizard or Shiny Rayquaza? Ah, oh, man, that's tough. Charizard's pretty good, though. And it has Megas, and it has... Honestly, I would say Mega Charizard, though it's, it's like, barely above Rayquaza. My Shiny Rayquaza is ridiculously cool. And it's uh, Mega is disgustingly amazing, too. So, yeah. Threw a really hard ball out there for me. <laughs> Respect the grind. Thank you so much, Keith. Appreciate it. What's up, Gabriel? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Do you actually ban them? No, I'm being sarcastic. I don't actually ban them. I don't think we've really banned too many people on the channel except for the stupid ones. But you don't see them because we ban them. But yeah, no, we don't actually ban people for making wrong guesses. That'd be an incredibly stupid thing to do. We do jokingly time them out for like two seconds, though. Just for fun. Which form of Dialga do you prefer? Honestly? Hmm. I do like the Origin form, even though it is really weird. But, uh, yeah, I'd say, like, normal. Normal Dialga, I think, is a little better. I honestly actually really like the Horse Palkia, weirdly enough. I used to hate it, but now that I have a few and, like, I've seen it moving and stuff, I'm like, you know what? This isn't bad. They tried with this one. This one's okay. What's your favorite Pokemon? Man, do I love myself a good Sharpedo. What's your full... What is your full-time job? Sorry if it's rude, but that's awesome. Oh, this is my full-time job. YouTube is. Currently, this is what I do for my living. And I love it. I play every day. I throw a video together, I try to make it a daily occurrence. I work really hard for this, I really enjoy it. That's not shiny, but it is a boosted dust Pokemon. And of course it's going to be putting up a fight, so let's throw ourselves down a nice golden. 
and hopefully catch it. I can't do the spotlight hour because it's raining so much and it's so windy, eh? Well, I mean, hopefully you didn't need anything. Hopefully these are just like whatever Pokemon to you. At least it's not like a brand new shiny debut where they're putting it in the spotlight hour. Because that would have sucked for sure. That would have been muy sad. Hey, Wendy, thank you so much for the $10. Everybody, let's get some likes on that. Thanks, Gary, that. Let's get some hype for all those donations. And thank you to everybody who subscribes. Everybody who's been commenting as well. Like, if you can't, if you can't, like, monetarily help out, the fact that you either like the stream, comment on the stream, or just watching the stream in general just helps. I appreciate every single one of you. But thank you very much, Wendy. That's amazing. Thank you so much. You do great. Thank you so much, Bridget. Very kind of you to say. Very, very kind of you to say. Do you ever do PvP? From time to time, but I'm not good at it. It's not something I really go out of my way for. You know what I mean? But I do enjoy it from time to time. Sometimes I can get on a good roll and I'm just doing real good, and then other times I just get slaughtered. I got a Hundo Burmy yesterday and it was a Motham. Oh, very cool. Congrats. That's awesome. I've yet to get a Hundo from a research. Unfortunately. I did get a Hundo Beedrill from a raid, though. That was kind of fun. But other than that, I have not been very lucky. This one, no. I respect you for grinding to the point where you can just live off of YouTube. It's definitely a grind, unless it, you blew up really fast. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a huge grind. I definitely didn't blow up, like, immediately. It took me a while before people started really paying attention to me. And I appreciate those, the people that were there in the very beginning. Like, I know Bridget was there for a while. There was quite a few people that are in here now that were there. But yeah, no, it was a, it was a hell of a grind. What's your best Pokemon? My best Pokemon are definitely my Shundos, for sure. I would argue those are the best Pokemon that I'll ever have, period. Whew, man. Let's keep catching. Even though, technically, we're going to we're gonna run out of balls soon, so... Might have to stop catching real soon. And then we'll just get to shiny checking. Because I don't want to potentially lose out on a shiny to name after you guys. What's for dinner tonight? I don't know yet. I'm going to the gym with Goku after this. And then either I'm going to cook something at home, or maybe I'll join him for something. But I don't know what I'd be cooking. I've been doing a lot of HelloFresh lately. And there's a, there's this beef, beef and mushroom smash burger. That sounds really good. So I might do that. Other than that, though, yeah, I don't know. There's also a chicken ramen that I wouldn't mind trying to make because it's like actually like making ramen. It's not like just putting some powder in a and some water. Like it's actually making, you know, it's still still ramen, so it's not 100% healthy, healthy, but it's healthier. Boy, do I love spinning a stop and not getting any pokeballs. All right, I guess we're in the shiny checking phase now. Let's see what we can get here. Hello, my name is Jono. What's up, Jono? How you doing? What if the origin forms were all bipedal? I mean, that would be interesting. I do think it's interesting that we have, that they made them uh, almost, you know, actually it would have been cool if they made Dialga a uh, biped and then kept Palkia as a quadruped. You know what I mean? So they kind of like switch. That would have been kind of neat. I wouldn't have minded that at all. I think that would have been a pretty fun thing for them to do. Any JT Eats coming out soon? I mean, I really do like throwing those in the video, but uh, not yet. I do plan on filming another one relatively soon, and that should be a fun time. Hey, I'm bipedal. Word, so am I. Isn't that crazy? You're good? Good, good, good to hear. Bro, when I scrolled, I heard, hello, my... <laughs> Word. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you now. I definitely didn't hear that one. What about you? Nope. We do have two Pokeballs, though, so that's nice. We at least have two balls to throw. Shazam. And you are... Boom. Cool. I'm doing good, gaming channel. How you doing? What's up, Shannon Scott? How you doing? Hello from Italy. Found a Weedle last minute. Very cool. Very cool, Matza. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm happy to say that's the one shiny I've gotten this entire stream is a uh, shiny Weedle. Which is a nice one. Everybody likes a good shiny Weedle. Also, everybody, let's get some hype for the mods. For all of them. I know Juliana's in here. I know that ABR's in here and Brit is in here. 
So let's get some uh, hype for them for making sure these streams stay nice and clean. Whoa, you're a bipedal too. I know, this is crazy. What does bipedal mean? Walking on two legs. That's what bipedal means. And quadrupedal means that you are four-legged. Like a cat or a dog. What's the worst Pokemon your least favorite? Honestly, that is a hard one to answer because like the least favorite Pokemon are the ones I can't even think of because I never put any thought into them. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Bruxish. I think Bruxish is a weird design. I know what it is, so I like it because I know exactly what it is. And like it's based off of Hawaii State Fish and J Gen 7 is based off of Hawaii. So like, I like that part. I just not a huge fan of the design of them. You know what I mean? So yeah. I got a dog on me. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. And you know, dog might be on a leash, but he can still bark. Hey JT, do you think Shadow Rayquaza is next? I mean, probably. It's the only Gen 3 besides maybe Shadow Deoxys, but I highly doubt they're gonna do that. That would be kind of interesting though. Imagine if Shiny, or imagine if Shadow Deoxys was added to the game. Am I wrong that I've purified a Shadow 98 Groudon? Yeah, you probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have kept it as a Groudon, cause, or as a Shadow. Cause as a Shadow, it's like number one ground type, period. It's a really good Mon to have. By the way, guys, we are literally five minutes away till the end of the stream, and we're at 82 likes. If we can get to 100 likes, it'll be a shiny naming to wrap up this stream with. So, if you want to be shiny named, feel free. Also, you are not a purple wormple. How about a golden caterpie? No. Maybe this caterpie will be golden. No. Gross. At least we got one shiny today so far. Happy to say that. Thank you very much for everybody for uh, liking the video. Appreciate y'all. You had state tests today. Well, hopefully they went well. Sounds like a fun, quote unquote, fun time. I haven't had to do those in forever. Pretty sure I have a Torchic named after me. That's still, huh, that's all I need. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Whew. Chief I did too? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But yeah, what are your guys' favorite Pokemon? Y'all ask me this question. I want to know what yours is. Tell me, what you guys, what's your favorite? If you could only have one ever, what would it be? If you get a Buzzer Beater Shiny, can you do a backflip? <laughs> God, I wish. You know what, I'll try. Maybe with the phone, I'll backflip with the phone. Oh, okay, and I can cross the road soon too. Hell yeah, also, cutie fly, not pink. Shiny Mew, Word, Magikarp, Mankey, Pidgey, always good. Zapdos, normal, hell yeah. Mesprit. You're a gym member for some time. What is your PR favorite exercise? Okay, so uh, my favorite exercises, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the flat bench just because we've been doing good. I can now do two plates of 45 on each side. I used to be able to do it a lot, but then I had to uh, take a break from the gym for a bit, and that kind of got me a little bit, but I was able to do at least two, uh, 90 pounds on each side, so like 180, so I think it was 225, 225 pounds. Other than that, man, I really enjoy arm day. I've been enjoying preacher curls a lot. Uh, the shoulder exercises suck. They definitely kick my butt real hard. I have a shiny Mew because I about the research. Oh, word, right on, right on. Shiny Rockleaf line, that's a pretty good shiny line. I like it a lot. If I win the shiny naming, can you name it Quasi? That's my cat. Of course. If you win, it can be Quasi your kitty. You go to the gym yet don't have any gym badges to show for it. I mean, it's true. It's true. Maybe we should start giving out gym badges. That'd be pretty nice for my personal accomplishments. 
Today was leg day for you, man. Let me tell you, I love leg day because I'm really good at leg day. But I will admit, we're trying some new uh, leg press uh, workouts where we slow each other down. And it, man, let me tell you, leg press is brutal. <laughs> leg press can be very brutal because we're like doing close to 600 pound leg presses now. And they are just killer. Oh, come on, let's get that buzzer beater shiny. Did you get a shiny this hour? Yes, we got a single shiny Weedle. I'm happy to say, we did get a Weedle. But other than that, unfortunately, our shiny look has been quite poo-poo. But maybe, just maybe, we'll get lucky with a buzzer beater near the end here. We got two minutes, you never know, right? Impressive leg presses, thank you. You know, Goku and I have been pushing hard. Goku's definitely been pushing harder than me, though. Because I've had to, like, cancel going to the gym to make, you know, content for my videos. Because, like, he has a... Oh, no way! <laughs> oh, there we go. We got our buzzer beater. We started with a wormple. We're ending with a wormple. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's funny. I feel good in the ball, though, my friend. Oh, really? I've wasted two ultras. There we go. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. Let's see what happens, though. Maybe it's a good one. I wouldn't mind getting a good one for once. So this one right here is going to be... Eh, we got a 7156. Well, if you want to be named after this one, what color are shiny Beedrill's eyes? First come, first serve. What color are shiny Weedle's eyes? Or not Weedle, shiny Beedrill's eyes. They are blue. Congratulations, Anthony. You are correct. It is indeed blue eyed bee. Anthony can chew fit. Yes, it can. Awesome. Congratulations, Anthony Chu. You are also a shiny Weedle. <coughs> and now it's officially seven, so it's over, and we are two likes away. If we can get just two more likes, I will make. I will do another shiny naming. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to get those likes in there. And also, Blasty Knight, thank you so much for the $20. Well, time to honor my word. GG's on the shiny. Well, thank you so much, Blasty Knight. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Everybody, let's get some hype on that $20 donation. And again, let's make sure we get some hype for everybody who donates, whether it's big or small. I definitely appreciate you. Everybody who liked, subscribed, every one of you that are commenting right now, everybody who's watching, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. How do you like from shorts? Um, should just be a like button on the corner. Little heart corner thing. And we are at 113. All right. Let's do a shiny like, uh, shiny naming. Boo, 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 boo. Okay. Why not? Let's do this one. Pony saw is a good one. Um, I'll accept two answers for this one because technically there are two answers. When if I were to evolve this into a shiny Rapidash, what color would its uh, flames be? Thanks so much, Sweepy. Appreciate you. It is silver indeed, Renee. Congratulations. You are now officially a Pony saw. Also, again, let's get some uh, hype for Renee. They are officially gonna have a baby very soon, which is awesome. So yeah, good luck, good luck on the uh, kid. Hopefully everything goes well. You know, you haven't given an update, so I'm assuming you're still waiting on the child. But yeah, on that note though, I'm gonna head out. Thank you all for being here. I know it's not the most exciting spotlight hour ever, but I appreciate every single one of you who hung out with me for a little bit today. And yeah, on that note, I'm gonna head out and you guys stay frosty and I'll see you probably bell sprout community day but i might do another stream beforehand but we're probably going to do bell sprout uh, community day together so goodbye